Good evening, good evening, guys. Uh, good evening, Maurice. Great to see you, Abigail. Good evening. Great to see you, Miss. Um, Jorge, how you doing? Are you having a good day? Are you doing all right? Oh, okay, okay, Abigail, no problem. Uh, be careful, and I hope you get there safe and sound. Uh, Dinora, good evening. How are you? How are you doing? Is everything good all evening, right? Teacher. Good evening, good evening. How are you guys? I'm fine, teacher. Thank you. Nice to hear that. So especially on this Wednesday, right? It's really nice to hear you guys. Um, Georgina, good evening. Thank you so much for joining too. Really nice to hear you as well. And let me see. Yeah, I got Andrea as well. How are you guys? Is your Wednesday okay? Están teniendo un buen día. Are you having a good day? So, so, a little bit. Kind of. Well, guys, uh, it's always like nice to see you. And especially, guys, oficialmente ya nos quedan solamente un par de sesiones. We are missing just a couple of sessions para terminar este módulo. Así que, you know, we're going to try to uh, take advantage of the little time that we can get. Um, okay. <laughs> now, uh, vamos a revisar un par de cositas el día de ahora. Eh, vamos a revisar un tema nuevo ya. El día de ayer revisábamos un poquito de should, right? Para hablar de recomendaciones, eh, un poquito de las eh, suggestions, you know. And today vamos a revisar un poco la parte de cook. Creo que por ahí los compañeros eh, nos compartían que tenían dificultades con el ejercicio relacionado con este tema. And uh, thank you guys so much for sharing. Gracias por compartir eh, parte del ejercicio que ustedes ya habían resuelto, right? That's really important. Um, let me just take a look here. Miss Bonilla, good evening. Lady, good evening. Thank you so much for joining as well. And let's get started, guys, uh, with a couple of things we have for today. And uh, to get started, uh, tengo un par de preguntas por acá por ustedes. Okay, so I have just a couple of questions, guys, and let's see if we can get somebody to do this activity. Um, so let's get started and let's take a look at some of the questions. Tenemos acá un par de preguntas que en realidad son como, como retos, kind of challenges. Guys, ustedes pueden hacerlos if you can do them and you can show them to us. That would be really nice. For example, the first one says, can you wiggle your ears? Uh, wiggle is this one, right? Como moverlos, o las orejas. Guys, ¿alguien puede mover las orejas? Can you wiggle your ears? No, teacher, I don't. No, you can't. Okay, nobody? And nobody can, guys? No, I guess we didn't get anybody there. Okay. No problem, that's fine. What about number eight right here? So we have this one, number nine, that says, can you juggle with three balls? Guys, can you juggle? Pueden hacer um, like piruetas, no, not piruetas, right? Uh, like malabares, can you juggle with three balls? Or oranges or whatever you have. Alguien puede juggle, can you juggle? No, nobody. That is not your ability. This one, right? Number nine. Can you juggle? Pueden hacer malabares or yeah, that one. Can you juggle? No. No. Lady, no. Mauricio, you no, can. No. <laughs> okay, not something we can do. All right, number ten, guys. Can you name five U.S. presidents? Only five. Can you name five U.S. president, guys? Come on, that's easy. George, George Washington. Okay, George Washington. 
uh, maybe Abraham Lincoln. Okay. Guys, and help us. It's only five. John F. Kennedy. Okay, three. Uh, George Bush. Okay, four. Eh, este nuevo que está ahora no me acuerdo cómo es. <laughs> okay, Barack guys. Obama. Barack Obama. Obama. Very nice. Okay. okay, we got it. Or Biden, right? Now it's Biden. Okay. Uh, Biden. Nice, okay. nice. Yeah, but he is not famous. I don't know why. I don't know what's going on. Very good. We got it. Number 11, guys. Can you snap your fingers? Snapping is like this, right? Making the sound. Can you snap your fingers? Como tronarlos? Can you snap them? Nobody? Nobody can? Guys, nobody can snap your finger. Well, snapping is like, like with just this one, right? Like making the sound. Can you snap your fingers? No worry. Snap. Mm -hmm. Snap. Yes. This one is el sonido. Mm -hmm. Como tronar. Can you snap them? Okay. Yeah. Both. Ambos manos. Both hands. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Anybody else? Can you snap your fingers, guys? Yes, teacher, I can. Both hands. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, okay, nice. There, there is a lot of people who cannot do that, you know. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah, there is a lot of people who can do it. Number 12, can you tell a joke? Guys, are you good at telling jokes? No. No, are you good at telling Can you tell a joke? Nobody? No. Oh, interesting. Okay. Nobody, guys? Okay. Looks like nobody can tell jokes. Okay. Number 13. Can you drive a car? Yes, teacher. Yes. Uh, yes very well or so so? Very well. Very well. Okay. Very well. Very well. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, the next one is kind of difficult. It says um, a little. All right. Number 14. <laughs> can you touch a fly? Fly is this animal. Can you touch a fly with a, with chopsticks? Right? Like chopsticks con palillos. Can you catch a fly? Or in El Salvador, can you catch a mosquito <laughs> hmm. with chopsticks? Only mata mosca. Oh, okay. So only with the big racket. Uh -huh. Big so, racket. Yeah. Okay, or some spray, right? It's not very easy. Okay. Um, and uh, I was missing something here that is number seven. We're not going to do the last. Number seven says, can you do 50 push-ups? Guys, can you do push-ups? Push-ups is like this, right? This position. Uh, pueden hacer, um, how do you call them in English? I know them as push-ups in Spanish. I mean, in Spanish, how do you call them? Mm -hmm. Pechada, that's the one. Yes, that's right. Okay, so can you do push-ups, guys? Pueden hacer pechadas. Can you do some push-ups? Yes, only two. Two? How many? How many can you do? Only two. Okay, only two. And the rest, guys, los demás, how many push-ups can you do? Abigail, you can not even one or two or three. So how many guys? Quantos pueden hacer? How many can you do? Teacher. Yes, miss. I can three. 
<laughs> okay. You can do three. I think I can do like ten and no more. That's really hard. Yeah, I think I can do like ten. Okay. So here we have a couple of new words, right? For example, snapping. So snapping is this, pero también snapping puede ser como perder el control. Juggle, right? So can you juggle? Pueden hacer malabares. Juggle is hacer malabares, right? And push-ups that are uh, the exercise. So um, with your arms down. So just for you to get it. Today, guys, de hecho, vamos a combinar un poquito este tema. We're going to talk a little bit about abilities. Pero también lo vamos a cambiar en... Eh, vamos a hablar un poquito de posibilidades. That is something very important as well. So, um, previously, hemos revisado can para hablar de habilidades, skills, lo que podemos hacer, you know, present time, eh, permission, etc. Pero ahora vamos a trabajar un poquito con posibilidades. So, posibilidades, vamos a utilizar el pasado de can. Guys, any idea? Alguien tiene alguna idea cuál es el pasado de Ken? What's the password Ken? Could. Could, exactly. So the password Ken is could. And normally we use it uh, no solamente para abilities, but we use it for possibilities, right? So si puedo utilizar like uh, para cosas que yo podía hacer cuando estaba más joven, and uh, we can use it to, to talk about possibilities. ¿Qué es lo que podríamos hacer? No como recomendación, sino cuáles son las posibilidades that we have. For example, guys, let's talk about possibilities. Uh, what could you do? So what could you do when you were young? Uh, guys, ¿se recuerden si podían hacer algo? Were you able to do something? Uh, cuando estaban más pequeños, when you were young, ¿cuáles eran sus habilidades? Which were your abilities? ¿Podían subirse a árboles? Could you climb some trees? Yes, sure. Ah, okay. Hi, Ezequiel. Okay, so you could climb trees. I guess in that case, que ya no lo puede hacer. You cannot do it anymore. So, guys, ¿qué habilidades tenían? What abilities did you have? So, para hablar de habilidades that we have, um, si yo digo can, I can como ahora puedo, para pasado voy a hacer lo mismo, solo que voy a cambiar la could, right? I could, yo podía. So, ¿qué podían hacer, guys? In the past, what were you able to do? ¿Tenían alguna habilidad? Hi, Dinora, tell us. I don't know, but I could um, yeah. make tortilla. Not anymore. Ya no puede. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, yeah. so. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, so I can just say could or I was able to. Ambas son lo mismo. Y ambas hablamos de pos, uh, abilities, right? Posas, cosas que podíamos hacer. Okay, so I know I was able to make some tortillas. Okay. Guys, what about the rest of you? ¿Tenían alguna habilidad? Were you able to do anything? Well, mientras se recuerdan, while you try to remember some of your abilities, let's go ahead and let's check this conversation super quick. So, uh, these people, they are talking about some procedures. Están hablando de procedimientos, right? And it says, uh, the objective for today, express possibility to request permission. So, vamos a hablar un poquito de possibilities. Again, no es una recomendación, es más como algo que podríamos hacer. And, um, yeah, I think it's pretty easy. So, uh, tenemos una... Short conversation between Hank and Julie, um, in which they are asking for permission. 
So guys, can I have two beautiful voices please to help us? Lady, can you help me? Uh, can you help me with Hank? Guys, alguien me puede ayudar con Julie? Can anybody help me with the Julie's part? Me teacher. Perfect, Maurice. Thank you so much. Um, so, lady, if you are ready, you can help us with uh, Julie. Solo le vamos cambiando nombre, right? I mean, with Hank, sorry. Yo soy Hank. Yes, you're Hank. Okay. Uh, good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, lady. I am okay, but very is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick, and my sister cannot go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. You call us for permission? It is all right. You could go to HR department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, absolutely. There we go. Thank you so much. So, um, this person's mother is sick and they are asking for permission, right? So, that's lo que van a hacer, guys. What are they supposed to do? No le dice, ah, yo le recomiendo que lo haga. No, le dice, usted puede hacer esto. So, the, we are talking about possibilities. You could go to the HR department or human resources department and request a form. So take a look at this important word. So request, guys, what is the meaning of request? What's that? Solicitar. Solicitar, pedir, right? Hacer un algo muy formal, des, una solicitud de forma muy, um, well, in a formal way, right? So that is request. Um, guys, ustedes tienen algún formulario para pedir permiso? Or what is the process in your company? Because in here, company, uh -huh. in, in my company, uh, uh, use a uh, Format. So you have I, a, a, I feel a form. A format. Okay. Okay, so you have a form too. Yeah, so request a form. Form actually is como un formulario, right? What we yeah. normally use. So you have a form too. Okay. Guys, what about in the rest of your companies? Alguien lo hace digital? Do you do it online? Yeah. Teacher, yes, in order. In my case, uh, I I can make digital or 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 fill, llenar. Fill, fill a fill. form. Yes, um, acción de personal se llama. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. And I I can anexar. Okay, attach. Attach, um, um, like evidence. Yeah, yes, yes, evidence. Okay, uh -huh. or like an appointment, I imagine. Ah, uh, yes. So, mm -hmm. si tiene una cita, so you can like attach appointments, evidence. Ah, okay. So, appointment. Oops, appointment. Okay, so appointments, evidence, something that says that you really need that permission. Okay, okay, nice. Guys, and the rest of your lady, what is the process in your company? In my company, for digital. Ah, okay, um, just online. Okay. Um, ah, okay. 
Ah, a day before, 24 hours. Okay, is it easy? Or is it difficult? Mm, it's easy. It's easy. Okay. Yes. Guys, in your company, is fácil que le den permiso? Is it easy to get a permission? For example, imagine that it's not a permission, but it is your vacation. Uh, ¿Con cuánto tiempo de anticipación tienen que pedir vacaciones? How long before? ¿Hacen el mismo proceso? Do you do the same process? Yes. With... One month. Oh, it's a lot. Okay, so one month before. Yes. Do you do it online? No, we fill out the, the form. Request, yes. Ah, okay, so you oh, make okay. a request too. Okay, okay, okay. Guys, uh, what about the rest of you? So vacations a month. But Si las aprueban, are they approved? Julio, in your company? Or tiene que hacerlas, you know, like checking, asking them before? They check all the people. It's uh, approved. Okay, okay. Oh, but, but, uh -huh. but, tell us, tell us. Because we not can take the vacation at the same time the the say the part of ah okay that's important all right because of like staffing i believe okay nice so here we have a little bit guys of could obviously a could is la forma más o la que podemos encontrar para hacer preguntas and ya lo vamos a utilizar. So, uh, si la utilizamos para posibilidades, la usamos para preguntas, pero sobre todo la utilizamos para pedir algo, right? Um, cuando pedimos favores, cuando hacemos solicitudes, the word we are going to use is going to be could. So take a look here. We use could to express possibility. ¿Qué es lo que podríamos hacer? No le estoy recomendando. Le estamos viendo todas las posibilidades that you have if you have a problem. Ayer veíamos que sure solo es para recomendación. Tú deberías hacer esto porque es la mejor opción. But could no. Could puede ser algo bueno, puede ser algo malo, pero es una posibilidad. Look at this. You could request a day off. You could talk to your supervisor or the manager. Uh, she could explain her situation. She could take the company's transportation. Se parece mucho a sure. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Que con could, yo no le estoy recomendando. No suena a una recomendación, sino a como todas las posibilidades that a person has. Um, so, if I tell you, hey, I'm broke. So, obviously, con should, usted va a venir y me va a dar recomendaciones. Ah, tú debes ahorrar más, right? Like things that I consider are a good idea. So, if I tell you, I am broke. So guys, remember, I'm broke means no tengo dinero, right? So I'm broke. Now, no me recomienden, guys. Solo díganme qué posibilidades tengo. <laughs> Don't give me recommendations. So no importa que las posibilidades sean buenas, good or bad ideas, they are welcome. So if I'm broke, what do you think are, what are my possibilities? So for possibilities, we're going to make them with could, right? ¿Qué puedo yo hacer? What could I do? You should work. Oh, okay. So you should work. All right. You should work. All right. Well, but when I say I should, you should work, it should suena como que me está recomendando, right? And it is perfect. Ahora, um, Hagámoslo you más. Be, mm -hmm. You should be a credit. Ah, ok. So, I should. Yo debería hacer qué con el crédito, perdón. Como solicitarlo. Request. Sí. There we go. So, request. 
request for a credit. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can use that one. Or how do you say a préstamo, guys? Help us, help us. How do you say préstamo in English? Yeah, help us. The first letter loan. is L. Loan, exactly. So you should request for a loan, right? So debería pedir un préstamo. Ask for a credit, request for a loan. Okay, but again, should suena como una recomendación. Yo estoy recomendando. Ahora, no me recomiendan, don't, let's not talk about the recommendations, eh, sino más bien, ¿qué posibilidades son las que ahora yo tengo? Sí puedo utilizarlas, eh, I mean, I can use these, but for example, uh, so I have a job, pero es que estoy quebrada, he tenido que invertir mucho, you know, mi carro se arruinó, my car broke, I'm broke. I'm not getting the bonus, etc. So, ¿cuáles son mis posibilidades? So, casi es lo mismo. La estructura es bien similar. Entonces, lo que yo puedo hacer es, en vez de should, yo lo voy a cambiar por could. Now, ¿cómo va a sonar o cuál es la diferencia entre estas dos oraciones? You should work. Ah, tú deberías hacerlo. Tú deberías trabajar. You could work, tú podrías trabajar. So what's the difference? En español las usamos bien diferentes. Porque acá no estoy recomendando. I'm not recommending you to work. Le estoy diciendo que esta es una posibilidad que tiene, right? I can say, for example, ah, uh, you could uh, leave for USA. Pero no le estoy diciendo que se vaya del país. I'm not telling you, hey, go go with back, you know, illegally go to USA. No, le estoy diciendo, es una posibilidad que todos tenemos if this is the scenario. Entonces, es la gran diferencia entre should and could. Could son todas las posibilidades que tengo, buenas o malas. Should, yo le estoy recomendando. So, guys, ¿qué otras posibilidades tengo? What are my possibilities? ¿Qué es lo que se podría hacer en este escenario? If I tell you I'm broke, ¿cuáles son las posibilidades, guys? No importa si es buena o mala. Ah, oh, ok. So you could be... Ah, ok. So you could be homeless. I'm homeless already. <laughs> ok. So you could be homeless. Ah, no, but you could be homeless if you don't work. So if you don't work, mm -hmm. so you could be definitely homeless. Yeah. So what else? What are some possibilities, guys? You could borrow from your mom. Oh, okay. So you could borrow some money. Okay, some money. Maybe from my mom, from a friend, from my boss, probably. So, again, ¿cuál es la gran diferencia? Easy, guys. Que no estoy recomendándole. Solamente um, estamos hablando de las posibilidades que se tienen in one scenario, right? Entonces, okay. es mucho más suave. It's definitely a softer, que es should. Porque ya no es solo mi opinión, sino son toda la vaga. Es mucho más general. Very, very general, right? And we are talking about all possibilities. Uh, for example, like I can say, ah, tú podrías empezar un negocio. You could start your own business. Uh, you could sell um, some catalog, right? Como de revistas. You could sell products for magazines. No le estoy diciendo que deba de hacerlo, le estoy diciendo que son posibilidades, right? So, that is the point, guys. Could, possibilities. So, today we're going to be working a little bit with this scenario. Take a look here. Um, again, it expresses possibility. You could request a day off. No le estoy diciendo tú deberías hacerlo. Mm -mm. Le estoy diciendo tú podrías. Es una posibilidad. If I tell you, ah, you know, 
No quiero trabajar. I don't want to work tomorrow. No quiero trabajar mañana. No le digo que, oh, ok. Eh, no debería de hacerlo. ¿Cuáles son las posibilidades, guys, si no quieren trabajar? If you don't want to work tomorrow. ¿Qué posibilidades tiene? Let's talk about that. <laughs> Wait, the never is here. So if I say, for example, I don't want to go to work. I don't want to go to work tomorrow. Again, remember, no estamos recomendándoles, sino estamos hablando de cuáles son toda la variedad de posibilidades que tenemos. Guys, ¿qué posibilidades tenemos? Some people steal the teacher. Steal. Como de robar, no sé. Ah, if I'm broke, yes, you could, uh -huh, you could rob or something. Yeah, that's a possibility too. No es una recomendación, pero es algo que se puede hacer. Mm -hmm. What about this scenario, guys? I don't want to imagine that you say, ay, tomorrow is Thursday. No quiero ir a trabajar. I don't want to go to work tomorrow. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué you posibilidades could, tenemos? Mm -hmm. You could ask for your boss for free day. Ah, or, or, okay. Or you permission. Could, usemos la palabra que acabamos de aprender. You could request a day off. Ok, podemos solicitar un día libre. Hay algunas empresas que dijeron que tenían como cinco días libres al año. So you could request a day off. All right. ¿Qué más podemos hacer, guys? Remember, no importa si es bueno o malo. Son todas las posibilidades. <laughs> I didn't know that. Ok. T-shirt. Yeah. Uh, in the company, we say a uh, one day of vacation. Ah, okay. So mm -hmm. you could. Is a uh, uh, one possible. Uh, for a vacation. For a vacation. I don't know how to say it. Only one day. Um, one day, two day. Okay, so for mm -hmm. an advanced, for an advanced vacation. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. You could ask for an advanced vacation day. All right. What else? ¿Cuáles son nuestras posibilidades, guys? What are the possibilities we have here? Uh, get married with a uh, sugar mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, you mean like debería de renunciar entonces? I should uh, <laughs> so I should resign. No, pero es que solo es un día, no es todo el año. <laughs> I just need a day. <laughs> okay, so you could uh look for a sugar. Yeah, I'm just trying to think about how to make it out here. So. <laughs> okay, so, or mama. <clears throat> yeah, wait. Uh, oh my God, mama. To, not to work again. So not to work again, not to work again. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that, that's definitely a possibility. Okay, what else? Do we have more possibilities? Guys, ustedes son bien creativos here, so. Teacher. <laughs> yeah. Teacher, some people uh, currently um, only want to be TikToker. Or ah, YouTuber. okay. And they don't want to, to work. You could become a TikToker. How do you write TikTok like this? Oh, uh, I don't know how to write TikToker, guys. Does it have a C or just like this? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know how to write TikTok, you know, because I don't have the platform. I don't use it. So TikToker. Tick. Ah, yes. So no, no ER. Okay, that sounds good. So you could become a TikToker. Okay. 
do we have another possibility, guys? Or YouTuber, right? So TikToker, YouTuber, or influencer. Do we have another possibility? You can, you could talk with your boss and tell the truth. Ah, very nice. So you could talk to your boss and tell the truth that you don't want to go to work. Okay, nice. Okay. Do we have another one? Remember, so this is not like you should. This is not a recommendation. We're not saying a vaya y hágase TikToker. No, or vaya y hable con esto. No. It's just todas las posibilidades that we have in case you don't feel like going to work tomorrow. Um, I can say, for example, um, haga una lista de todas sus deudas, you know, y se va a motivar. So. <laughs> you could make a list of all your debts and bills and you'll get some motivation to wake up. So that is the idea with this good uh, thingy, right? So solamente hablamos de todas las posibilidades that we have. So take a look at the following exercise here. It says, read the situation and write a sentence expressing possibility with could. So tenemos cuatro escenarios. Vamos a trabajar solo con los cuatro. We're going to work just with the four scenarios we have here. For example, I don't have a car. ¿Cuáles son mis posibilidades? What are my possibilities? Well, first, ¿puedo rentarlo? ¿Puedo comprar uno? You can get a bicycle, right? Puedes caminar. So, todo lo que puedes. No es que deba, sino todas las posibilidades that we have in case you don't have a car. Someone of your family is sick. ¿Qué es lo que usted puede hacer? What are the things that you could do? You need to request a legal document. For example, a partida de nacimiento, a birth certificate, um, or uh, your house uh, legal documents. So what are the possibilities you have here? And the last one, number four, you feel tired and you feel sick. No le vamos a dar recomendaciones al prójimo de haga e, usted debería ir al doctor. No, son solamente todas las posibilidades que tiene. Ah, puede dormir. You, you could sleep a little bit, right? Um, so, Or, so, no importa si son buenas o malas, again, estamos hablando de posibilidades. All the possibilities we got in these scenarios. La número cinco eh, is supposed to be for us, para que la creemos, vamos a trabajar solo con las cuatro. Eh, guys, no vamos a escribirlas. Something very important. No las escriban, please. Don't write them down. Necesitamos empezar a eh, crear independencia al pensar. So, no les escriban, intenten ordenar la idea solamente y recuerden, solamente usamos you could. Y eso es todo. You could go, you could leave, you could arrive, you could call. You... So, you could más el verbo, right? Vemos tantas posibilidades como podamos de cada escenario, pero sin escribirlo. Eh, guys, esta es la página 42. This is page number 42. In case you want to open your material and look it up from your material. And uh, we are going to give like some ideas there. So guys, I'm going to send you. Vamos a ir por cinco minutitos nada más. We're going to go for five minutes. No les escriban. Don't write them down. Pero digamos verbalmente, right? Try to give them out uh, verbally. Guys, five minutes. Go. Go, 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 please. Vamos a los grupos, guys. So, Maurice, let's go. Jorge, let's go. Kevin, Lady, let's go to the group. Abigail, Georgina, let's go to the group too.
Okay, guys, so thank you so much for coming back. Uh, let's go here and let's take a look a little bit at the scenarios that we have. Give me just a moment. So, and we have like all of this, right? A uh, quick question, guys. Uh, it's not fácil, right? It's like a piece of cake, it's super easy. Nos complicamos mucho. So, guys, cuando los temas se vuelven fáciles, lo que vamos a hacer es intentar trabajar un poquito más con vocabulario. Intentemos utilizar palabras nuevas, nuevos verbos, nuevas expresiones. Intentemos utilizar las phrasal verbs, como ya manejamos la parte gramatical. Ahora intentemos agregarle new vocabulary as well, or pronunciation, you know, or the, so vamos a trabajar el resto de áreas when this thing comes kind of handy. So take a look at the first scenario. The first one says here, I don't have a card. Guys, if I tell you, hey, I don't have a card. ¿Qué posibilidades tenemos? What are the possibilities, guys? I could call a driver, a Uber. Okay, so you could call an Uber. All right, very nice. ¿Qué más? You could take the bus. You could take the bus. Very good. What else? You could rent a car. You could rent a car. Okay. I could use Uber. You could use Uber. Yes. Guys, pueden caminar. You could walk. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly. We could walk. Okay. You could what else? Walk. Yes. When we don't have a car, we could walk. Do we have another possibility? I know can't work because it's a long distance. <laughs> you could rent a bicycle. Maybe motorcycle. Okay, or oh, okay, okay, okay. So you can get a motorcycle in that case. Exactly. So no it's como hágalo. No, I'm not telling you you should do it. It's just this is a possibility. All right, what else, guys? ¿Qué más? Cuéntenos, tell us. You can be creative, guys. You go save money. You buy, could, uh -huh, you buy could save money someday. to buy. Very nice. You could save money. O se puede dar por, you know, no, la gasolina está muy cara. You, you know. <laughs> So, um, you could continue saving money until gasoline goes down. <laughs> That's a possibility too. All right. What about, um, vamos con la última guys, que dice you feel tired. What are the possibilities when you feel tired? You could take a nap. You could? Take, take a rest. Take a rest. You could take a rest, okay? I could I could sleep all day. <laughs> you could <laughs> sleep all day long. It is impossible in my house because it is um too noisy here. But yeah, it's a possibility. I could sleep all day long. I could call my boss, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I could was I could definitely call my boss. All right, guys. So I have a little situation for you. So again, como el tema eh, gramaticalmente, creo que no nos da mayor dificultad. Guys, alguien tiene problemas con can, could. Está fácil, right? It's easy. Yeah. Very. Okay, perfect. Entonces vamos a trabajar un poquito con vocabulario. Let's go ahead and work with vocabulary in that scenario. So, les voy a compartir here a little exercise. Está un poquito largo, so no se los pongo acá. I'm not going to play here. Porque también eh, uh, es un ejercicio que ayer trabajamos con Mauricio. So, eh, estos ejercicios, guys, nos dan la combinación de varias cosas. So, tenemos vocabulario. We have vocabulary. Tenemos lectura. Tenemos listening. When you click on it, van a ver que les despliega La historia la pueden escuchar. You can listen to it. Y ya vamos a hacer algo con este ejercicio. We're going to do something with this exercise here. So, uh, first, mm, se llama a Noisy Neighbor, right? It's a little story. 
And, uh, tenemos vocabulario nuevo. El vocabulario pueden ir hacia abajo. All the way long. All the way down. And van a ver palabras nuevas. Like some words that are super useful. And uh, uh, my question, guys, de esta historia es la siguiente. What could she do? ¿Cuáles son las posibilidades? What are the possibilities that this girl has? Her name is Barbara. All right, so I want you to think about qué es lo que Barbara podría hacer in this scenario. So Barbara, Barbara, what could Barbara do, guys? Uh, guys, la historia, el listening dura un minuto 21, one minute 21, super cortito, it's really short. Um, okay, read it. Vayan escribiendo las palabras nuevas. Go and write down the words that are new for you. The words that you don't get, the words that you don't understand. Van a ver también un par de y fre, phrasal verbs. Por ejemplo, en la línea 2. This is she had asked him twice already to turn the volume down. Turn the volume down. Que le bajara al sonido, right? So, it, acá hay una, un vocabulario nuevo and things like those. So, Read the story, guys. Eh, les voy a dar cinco minutitos para que la lean. You try to understand it. Y luego me dan un par de respuestas sobre what could Barbara do in this scenario. ¿Cuáles son sus posibilidades? Right? Cinco minutos, guys. Five minutes.
Guys, ¿cómo van? Uh, guys, do you need a, do you need more time, or did you finish reading the story? Okay, I believe you need more. I'll give you three more minutes, guys. Thank you, teacher. Are you having a hard time with the story? Les está costando comprenderla, guys? Or um, are you having like a difficult time with that one? There are some words that I never have written. Mm, okay, well, that's not bad then, sir. Okay, no problem, take your time.
Okay, guys, so let's take a look at the vocabulary uh, you found first, and then we go ahead with the possibilities that this girl had. Um, quick question, encontrar vocabulary nuevo? Did you find new vocabulary? Uh, yeah. Yes, teacher. Battery. Okay, so Burley, all right. Blessed thing. Burley, ah, blessed, okay. What else? Swear. Uh, this one, swear. Yes. Okay. Downstairs. 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 Okay. Or downstairs. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Okay. okay. Guys, London. anything else? Which one? London. Abigail? London. Louder. louder this one yes louder yes okay upstairs oh okay so down or upstairs okay mm -hmm. teacher yeah yes a otra que decía richard richard como no sé si es de rentar o Déjame revisarla. Let me take a look. Uh, do you remember what it said? Renter. Uh -huh. mm -mm. Ah, re-entered. Re-entered. Yes. This one. Ah, oh, okay. No, actually, es como enter, pero re-entered. <laughs> como otra vez entró, right? Uh -huh. So re-entered. What mean? Mm, um, like, for example, I, I enter my room, but I, I am hungry. I go to the kitchen. So I leave my room and then I need to re-enter. Como entrar otra vez. Like enter again. Pero en vez de decir enter again, lo decimos re-enter. So re es como mm -hmm. otra vez. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else, guys? Guys, los demás no encontraron vocabulario nuevo. You didn't find new vocabulary. But I'm super glad. Me alegra mucho que eh, sean estas solamente las palabras that were kind of new. Eh, has, eh, y que lograran comprender la historia. Because I believe that you got the story. Or at least the most important parts. En la parte de abajo, si se van hasta el final, ahí tienen por ahí vocabulary. Barely, baseball, mm -hmm. bat, blast, crazy, nap, note, promise, scream, stereo, surprise, swear, volume, plus, believe, eyes, just keep march, take time, trust, uh, sorry, truth, turn, twice, and vary. So I'm really glad that it's only this one, right? Um, okay. Okay, so now take a look at this one. Here we have it. barely, guys. ¿Qué comprendieron por barely? What is that? Aunque no es una Pena. palabra que se usa mucho, pero sí es como apenas, right? Barely. Como barely, pasaste apenas. el módulo, did you pass the module? Barely, apenitas. <laughs> so mm. barely es como bien cerca, uh -huh, eh, como raspado, right? Cuando hablamos de scores or something like that. Anantes, teacher. Mm. And then, or if you say, for example, um, did you finish the report on time? Barely on time. So barely is como acerca de un punto, right? Uh, de un punto de entrega. Es como el anantes, exactly, from Salvadorian. Blast es una expresión, eh, pero, guys, sin buscarlo en el diccionario, uh, ¿qué entienden por blast? This the stereo was blasting. What is blasting? ¿Qué se imaginan? Imagínenselo, no lo traduzcan, imagínenselo. The story is about Barbara. Barbara said that the neighbor stereo was blasting. ¿Qué se imaginan? Uh, fuerte, no sé, algo así. ¿Mm? Exactly. Ok. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Yes, es como ideas. estruendoso, explosivo. Exactly. Han visto que 
uh, if you have a stereo y le ponen el volumen super alto, empieza a hacer esto, you know, like vibrating. So eso es blasting, right? Algo, uff, uh, demasiado exagerado. Pero también en inglés podemos utilizar la expresión blast. Eh, una, de esa expresión, de hecho, me gusta mucho y la gente la usa mucho, que es para decir, I have a blast. I had a blast. I so a blast mm -hmm, es una expresión para decir, me la pasé genial. Cuando alguien, you know, eh, is coming from vacation y le preguntan, hey, how was your vacation? I had a blast. So, es una expresión súper bonita que es, fue genial, fue increíble, you know. I had a blast. Como para decir, I had a lot of fun, it was fun. You can say, I had a blast. How was your weekend? Oh, it was a blast. I had a blast. So, lo podemos utilizar también como una respuesta, right? Para decir, me lo pasé súper bonito, súper genial. A swear, guys, what is a swear? Tiene varios significados, too. Curar. Ok, yeah, puede ser jurar, pero también puede ser mal decir. So, in English, eh, I can tell you, I swear, I swear that I'm going to do that. So, swear es como un promise, pero si usted está molesto, I can, and you start swearing, that means empezamos a maldecir a alguien o a decirle malas palabras. So, swear can be promise, or puede ser decir malas palabras too. Eh, up. Or downstairs, guys, eh, veíamos like, cómo dar instrucciones y teníamos y tenemos down. ¿Qué se imaginan entonces que es upstairs or downstairs? Subí la grada. Mm, yeah, ok. Yes, de hecho, upstairs, eh, quienes viven en casa de dos plantas, upstairs es la planta de arriba. Downstairs mm -hmm. es la planta de abajo. So, if you are in the first floor, le puede decir a alguien, ah, please go upstairs. Vaya hacia arriba o vaya a la planta de arriba. Upstairs, downstairs. Uh -huh. Para que, you know, you get an idea que son apartamentos. Alguien vive arriba y el otro abajo. Louder. This is comparative. Uh, what is loud? What is the meaning of loud? Loud. Guys? Fuerte, sonido fuerte. Fuerte, exactly. Cuando hablamos de ruidos o sonidos, eh, o de voz, you know, so, hey, don't speak so loud. So loud es una, una voz fuerte, right? Eh, pero el louder sería el comparativo mucho más fuerte. Louder and louder, más alto y más alto, right? Cuando hablamos de sonidos. So pretty much those are the words that we have. Now, guys, tell me, ¿qué pasó en la historia? What happened in this story? Resúmenla. Try to make it short. What happened to Barbara? Barbara subió tres veces para avisarle al señor de arriba de que le bajara un poquito volumen. Very a nice. Ahora en inglés. Hola. <laughs> Aquí tenemos But, todo lo que necesitamos. Well, okay. Upstairs, downstairs. Uh -huh. uh, hola. Hi. Hola. 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 Okay, after, el pasado after, de go, after. the past of go. Went. Went, okay. Mm -hmm. Barbara, so Barbara went. Barbara went. Went, neighbor. Uh -huh. uh, okay. She give. Uh, el pasado de give. Give. Uh, give. Game. 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 Mm -hmm. Barbara gave a, a neighbor uh, uh, take a, turn the volume down. Okay, okay. So Barbara went like three times, as you say, upstairs to the neighbor, and she asked the neighbor to take 
to turn the volume down. Okay. Yeah, volume down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Guys, ayúdenos. Help us. ¿Qué más pasó? What happened in the story? Lo que se recuerden, guys. Whatever you remember, con sus palabras, in your own words. What happened in the story? He didn't want uh, to attend the request of Barbara. Okay, so she didn't want, he didn't want to listen. Okay, very nice. And she dumpster and, and went for a baseball bat. <laughs> okay. <because> she, <laughs> she wanted to kill, kill him. Well, yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and then what happened? She swore him. Mm -hmm. Barbara. Y después de apio de la segunda planta. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, did Barbara hit the boy? Sorry, sorry. Did Barbara hit the boy? Did she uh, hit the boy? No. 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 Okay. She didn't hit the boy. All right. So, uh, then what happened? Did the boy listen to Barbara? Could you repeat that again, please? Yes. Did the boy listen to Barbara? <laughs> um. I suppose that because at the final of the paragraph it says uh, he his eye got I don't know big like a scare I don't know okay. yeah <laughs> exactly sir he was really scared okay amazing sounds really cool all right guys nice now vamos a hacer con esto what are we gonna do with this little story. Easy, guys. Vamos a grabarla. We're gonna record it. So, tienen la historia, eh, tienen el listening para que ustedes se vayan eh, guiando, right? I'm gonna give you, la historia es de un minuto. Mm, let me see. One minute. Twenty-one. One minute, twenty-one. Guys, eh, lo vamos a hacer ahorita. We're gonna do it right now. Eh, si podemos, claro, if we got enough time. Lo que quiero que hagan, guys, es algo que se llama eh, shadowing. Escúchenla una vez más. Listen to the story one more time. Escuchen la pronunciación. Escuchen cómo se unen los sonidos, cómo ellos lo dicen. Y vamos a grabarnos. And I want you to record it. Con la misma velocidad, intentemos seguir la misma pronunciación. Si algún sonido ellos lo unen, intenten unirlo también. So, um, y vamos a mandarlo ahorita. We're going to send it right now in WhatsApp. So. He didn't know that she could hear him. Uh, well, acá la persona de hecho suena bastante como flat. El tono suena bastante flat, así que no está nada confuso. Eh, pongámosle mucha atención a los verbos que terminan en ed. For example, eh, por ahí van a escuchar el verbo who. Right? Eh, el, cuando lo escuche, la persona no dice hopped, right? But she hopped. So vamos a intentar ir siguiendo la misma pronunciación. Eh, creo que algunos, eh, si están con el teléfono, se les va a ser un poquito complicado grabarlo, pero veamos si funciona. Let's see if it works. Uh, es un minuto con 21, right? One minute 21. Guys, tenemos cinco minutos, escúchenlo, listen to it, e intenten grabarse, and try to record it, all right? Five minutes, guys. La misma historia, same story. Teacher, la leemos y la grabamos. Yeah, for example, uh, it says, Barbara couldn't take it anymore. Her upstairs neighbor was blasting his stereo again. Okay. She had asked him twice already to turn the volume down. So voy a escucharla, I'm going to listen to that, y luego me grabo, and then I record myself. Mm -hmm. Okay, sí, porque yo le iba a grabar encima de la voz. 
Mm, no, but listen to it, porque la idea es que también... Um, Oh, puede grabar, ya, yeah, puede grabar la pantalla. Algunos eh, dispositivos permiten grabar la pantalla, eso es ok. Voy a cerrar mi micrófono, guys, para que no interrumpirlos. And okay. uh, if you need help with anything, let me know.
Okay, guys, so thank you so much for sending it. Uh, ya escuché algunos de los que me enviaron, which is really nice. Really good job. Eh, vamos a seguir trabajando, eh, you know, in fluency and everything, para reducirle un poquito el tiempo también. But very nice job, very nice pronunciation. Y las historias, de hecho, se escuchan bastante claras. So that was the objective. Guys, how do you feel with that? Les, ¿Les ayudó a escucharla primero? ¿Did it help? Yes, teacher. A little bit. All right. Yes, so, teacher. Okay. So vamos a trabajar especialmente por la parte de pasado, right? That I think, um, in a way, nos está dando como un poquito de issues. Eh, guys, vamos a tomar estos 15 minutitos. We're going to take the last uh, minutes we have here. De hecho, para trabajar en los pasados, to work in past tenses. Because eh, eh, los conocemos, we handle them, pero es normal que al momento de intentar eh, tell a story, for example, se nos olvide todo. So we totally forget them or something happens. So give me a moment. I'm going to present a picture to you. Um, where is it? Okay. So wait a second. Wait a second, wait a second. Okay, guys, so what are we going to do? Uh, really quick, let's present a story. Let me, well, no, let me present the pictures. <laughs> and you are going to make the story. So, guys, look at all these pictures here. Um, we have, like, potatoes. We have tomatoes. We have this emoji that a person is kind of thirsty and hot. And uh, we have the thermometer. And we also have the tent right here. Um, First, and really quick, guys. So, uh, I want you to select, eh, pónganlos en orden, organize them the best way you can, in whatever order you can. And, guys, tienen tres minutos, you have three minutes para intentar hacer una historia cortita, a very short story, utilizando pasados, just past tenses. So, organize them in any way you can. Intenten utilizar vocabul vocabulario nuevo, of course. Uh, try to vary the vocabulary you use. And guys, we have uh, three minutes. You get three minutes. Make a short story. Todo en pasado, guys. Everything fast, please. One more minute.
Okay, guys, are you ready? So tell us a short story, please. Uh, using these prompts, using the pictures, intenten contarnos una historia, guys. Any story, cortita, right? Using a past tenses. Ready? Yes. Okay, perfect. Let's go for it. Okay. Lo intentaré. Nice. Go. Give it a try, yeah. Mauricio. I went to a picnic. Okay. Put, put at my tent, but the weather okay. is very hot. And I was mm -hmm. is waiting a lot of um, I started cooking and okay. it was uh, worse, 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 uh -huh. uh, and <laughs> only this. It was nice. Okay, sounds really good. Da, yeah, you got it. Okay, you got it. No, but the story definitely makes sense. That's really good. Uh, guys, 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 anybody else? No more volunteers. I see Juanjo and I know that Juanjo wants to say it. <laughs> okay, so Juanjo, are you ready? Uh, más o menos. Let's give it a try. Okay. Last week I went to camping but okay. it was very hot. Nice. I lit a fire with the wool and cooked some potatoes and I also prepared some hot dogs. Okay. That's all I know, but that is okay. Uh -huh. okay. No, that's really good. La idea es que sabe como, tiene que ser como cortita, right? But yes, cool. Juanjo, uh -huh. very interesting, Juanjo. Yes. Mauricio, mi estimado no, very Mauricio. Very nice, very nice. Okay, anybody else? Yo que tengo un chiste aquí, teacher. Lo voy a, lo voy a leer. Dígalo, dígalo, say it. Dice, an old friend told me that he got it because he had eaten some sausages. Mm -hmm. So he stopped eating them for this reason, he only eats vegetable. Okay. That's can you say that? Wait, can you say that again? Eh? Eh? Can you repeat it? Can you say that again? An old friend told me he got, he got ill because he had eaten some sausages. So he stopped eating them. For this reason, he only eats vegetables. Okay. Es que siento que me hace falta something. <laughs> ah, sí. Yeah, uh, yeah right. Uh -huh. yeah. So, like, we are kind of incomplete. But it's all right. It sounds really nice. <laughs> y es que no la terminé, teacher, por uh -huh. <laughs> No, but it's okay. It's okay. All right, guys. Anybody else? Teacher. Yes, 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 yes. Me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yesterday went to the camping and we used potato, tomato, and hot dog for the lunch. After we walked for the river and everybody swing in the river. We, uh, we was finished the day very tired. After I was feel a fever. But I take it the tem temperature, but I was well. Okay. Yes, I believe, right? <laughs> okay. 
No, but that sounds really nice. You know, I really like that I'm listening to Simple Pass, guys. Um, so I'm listening to the correct use of Simple Pass. Very good job with that. Anybody else? It all the stories are different. Even though the pictures are the same, everybody has something to tell us. So, e uh, teacher. Yes. Okay. I went a camping. No, I went a camping in the beach. Mm -hmm. The weather was very hot and mm -hmm. have a lot of mosquito. Okay. In the night, eating salchich, bueno, hot dog. Sausage. Oh, okay. 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 With potato and tomato. Mm -hmm. Only that. Oh, okay. Okay. Sounds all right. A different story again. Nice. Thank you. Thank you for that. Okay, anybody else? Anybody else? Okay, I guess that will be it. Okay, guys, but I'm really glad to hear que si estamos utilizando los verbos in past. So probably just uh, we need like to, to focus a little bit more, right? On the fact that it's just past tense. Um, okay, we got two minutes. Guys, uh, quick question antes de irnos. Um, ¿Cómo van con la plataforma? ¿Han tenido algún problema uh, with any exercise from the platform? Ya casi la terminan, you're almost done. Yo no puedo hacer el examen final. El examen final. Ah, ok. Pero so far todo bien. Everything good. Sí. sí. Creo que solamente vi por ahí con este tema de could que tenía like some questions, but, but thank you guys. Gracias por compartir, you know, eh, some workaround or lo que han hecho, right, para que les funcione. So thank you so much for that. Um, guys, los demás ya casi, almost done. Casi lo terminan tú. Recordemos que la finalización del módulo eh, está programada para el día lunes. Eh, la idea es como eh, que no se nos vaya acumulando, right? Not to accumulate it much. Y que logremos terminarlo eh, like on time. Eh, all right, guys. So, antes de um, irnos, solamente les tomo la asistencia. Let me take your attendance. Dime un segundo. Let me just pull the record. Y agradecerles, guys, por la asistencia, for your nice attendance, for being here. Please don't miss it. Nos faltan solamente tres sesiones. So, Please try to always um, join on classes, aunque sea tardecito, or let us know if you are going to be listeners. Um, so let me take a look here. Um, Abigail, so, well, Abigail, so thank you. Present. Andrea, too, thank you. Blanca, too. Georgina. Georgina, si la vi por acá. Hector, creo que no escuché a Hector ahora. Mr. Sanchez. Hello, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Narvaez, lo escuché hace un momento. Present, uh, Thank you. Ezequiel. Yes, miss. Thank you so much. Juanjo. Present, teacher. Juanjo was here. Julio, too. Kenia está por acá, guys. Logran ver a Kenia. Present, teacher. Y aquí está. Hola, miss. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Eh, Paolo, por ahí que se va a salir. Lady was here. Morris mm -hmm. también. Noé. No, 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 haven't seen him. Uh, Salvador tampoco, haven't heard him. Uh, Abigail, sí. Michelle, ¿está por acá? Yes, teacher. Hola, miss. How you doing? Fine, teacher. Nice to hear you. And Damaris. Well, me imagino que algunos ya van como diciembre, son los meses más complicados for some jobs, or I guess eh, ya empezó a, a cobrarnos factura, right? 
Pero guys, casi terminamos módulos, so let's just be patient, right? Y luego ya se quedan tranquilitos hasta el próximo año, if God willing. Guys, agradecerles por la asistencia. Thank you so much for your time. Eh, please, no se les olvide trabajar on your platform. And nos vemos el día de mañana. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Have an amazing night, everybody. See you tomorrow. Enjoy Good night. it. Good See night, you tomorrow, teacher. guys. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.